Oh, I've never seen this before. This trash can comes all the way back here and gets Chandler's trash. I wonder if that guy knows all the crazy animals that are right here on a daily basis. He probably just comes here, has no idea that there's big ass crocodiles just over on the corner. He has no idea. Just comes and gets the trash, does his business. It's so funny. Look at all these little guys. Hey dude, look how big these guys are getting. So freaking awesome. These American Crocs, so cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, still trash guy right there, no idea. Are you peeing on a tree over there, dude? You draining it? You're ignoring me. Yeah, I'm ignoring you. Well, the whole world is about to see that. All right, so today we got some poopy cages. We got Russ in here looking gigantic. Look how thick he is looking today. He's got a big old poop right there. And he needs some more aspen. He's got like barely anything in there. And then same thing with these guys. These guys, I did not bring a bag of mulch. But they got a nice spicy poop right there. So we gotta clean that out as well. See how these guys are doing. I fed them last time I was here. So they just ate. Action! All right, let's see how Mr. Rusty is at then today. Look at how thick this boy is. Look at that. Look at that freaking thickness right there, man. He's thicker than a Snickers, my dude. Look at that. He's just getting freaking massive. I feel like every time he eats, Dude, he just gets so much bigger every freaking time. It looks like he's a little on the darker side too today. So he's probably gonna- Darkness! Darkness, he's probably gonna go into shed soon. Cause that's normally, this is normally how he looks when he's about to shed out. But dude, he's just so rad. So let's go ahead, put him in the holding receptacle like this. Look how big he's getting, dude. Remember when he didn't even fill out this trash can? And now he's just freaking. Now I remember when he looked like a baby rat snake. The whole bottom. Yeah, I'm sure you remember a lot of things about when he was little. So let's get this gross, stinky cage all cleaned out. Then we're gonna get my boy out of his uh, holding receptacle again. And then it's time to clean out these uh, these rattlesnakes and see how they're doing too. So let's get dirty, right? Mm. And I mean that was nothing compared to yesterday, bro. It was half the cage. Damn. And you cleaned it yesterday again? Yeah, Damn. I mean, look, he still has python in him. He's gonna be yeah. squirting for days, yeah, brother. For sure, those python squirts are serious. Yeah, if y'all thought That's that a whole another smell. Y'all thought that taking care of you know like retex and other pythons and whatnot was tough. Try snakes that eat other snakes. Yeah, it smells. It goes real. through them like a fish fillet. You ever had a McDonald's fillet and poop like it's water? It stings the nostrils. Hmm. Check this out. So I got a new brand of aspen and. Uh, Chandler hooked me up with this feed store by my house, kinda. And, uh, bro, it's like eight bucks for an entire bag. Eight dollars for this? Eight, eight dollars for a eight whole dollars. bag. Eight dollars for a whole bag, okay? Eight dollars. When normally, dude, this stuff at the pet stores is like 40 or 50 bucks a bag. Forty dollars? Crazy. So now Can't we're going you. to the feed store. We're trying to do things smarter these days, okay? Your boy's a daddy. He's got to cut down on costs. I got baby formula to buy and diapers and and uh insulation for the building electrical and i gotta pay uh, for my girl's hair to get done so she yeah. feels her pretty. nails all that stuff dude i gotta, gotta do it i gotta do all that ready. stuff man it's crazy all right let's get a good look at this stuff out right. there do something funny i think this is good do something funny do something funny i don't know i don't know what to do all right i'm stuck in the because right now you're just moving around and rabbit bedding. Yeah, well, I'm done. Oh, and you didn't get any on the floor. That's oh, oh, a good thing you got a new oh. Mustang. Dude, watch out, bro. This room is very clean. I want to keep it that way, okay? <laughs> God. Oh, my. <laughs> you still filming? Nobody wants to watch me clean cages, bro. This you is think not that. Fun. You not think fun. that. No, they don't care, bro. They just want to watch me take the snakes out. They want me to kiss them on the they just face, see you know, lobes so they jiggle. can yell at me. Oh, yeah, they definitely want to see my big ass earlobes that they love to comment on. That's exactly what they need. What are you All talking right. about? They love your earlobes. Oh, yeah. Love them. Everybody does. That's the technique right there. Premium. You gotta, you gotta Tyler blow. Nolan. Blow job. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> nice clean cage. 
Look at this thick boy. Ooh, mm. He's like a sausage cobra. Look at that thing. Look at this. Look at this big old handsome man. Oh, he's got some snot on your nose. How'd you get all snotty right there, sir? Look, got some snot on the side. All right. Let's get you out of here. Look how big he's getting. Dude, he's getting heavy, too. You're going to have to send him to fat camp. Got some freaking weight. Look at that. Look at how big that cobra is. He is looking so good. He's about to go into shed, so he's gonna look even better in just a couple of weeks. All his scalation is looking good. What is that on your back? You Beautiful know? boy. Let's get you back in your back cage. into clean enclosure. Such a well behaved gentleman. I love this freaking snake, man. I miss having you at my house and taking you out every day and spending quality time with you. That's why he's so chill. I used to hold him every single day. He knows me for sure. These guys are smart. They definitely know their owners and who feeds them and takes care of them. You know what so I mean? So he loves me. Yeah, he loves you too. <laughs> loves you too, Chandler. All right, so now we are going to get out the buzz tails, man. My morph buzz tail, bat wing, rattlesnakes, cane break cross with an eastern diamondback. This one right up front is my boy, Batman, and I am going to grab a snake hook real quick to get him out with because he has a hell of a speeding response since he has been at Chandler's house. Now, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but he's never struck at me at my house. But ever since he has been here and I go to feed him, every time I come here and open up the cage, I'm surprised he didn't strike outwards. But he's been getting a little strikey lately, and he's never like that. So we're just going to take extra precaution because a bite from this guy would be no freaking joke. Look at how fat that head is on this rattlesnake. He is just packing so much venom in that thing. The venom yield on this snake is no joke. And he's a morph, so you do not want to get bit by this crazy mixed venom. Ooh, bad bite for sure. And when I move him back to the house, I really want to do a bioactive setup with the rattlesnakes with some live plants. And just, uh, I'm gonna take a couple of these six foot bits put them together so they got a 12 foot cage plenty of space to slither around do their little snaky thing you know what i mean so let's get the uh, skit robin out see what she's doing where is she at safely locate her she's in this back corner all right so i see her head is behind the water bowl so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna carefully get this water bowl out while it's in front of her okay safe Better be safe and sorry, okay? And you can see, even the bottom of her head, I don't know if that's gonna go away, but she's got this little tiny lump still from when she got bit in the head by Batman. So let's carefully, ooh, she's all gooey. Bro, she got gooey poop on you, lady. That is freaking nasty, ew. Oh, I just touched it. But yeah, you can see the side of her head right there. You see that bottom part? I think it's just some weird like scar tissue or like an abscess that's inside of her now that I don't know, maybe it'll go away with time, but who knows? Maybe it's gonna stay there forever if it's scar tissue, unless it breaks down. But I wouldn't be surprised if it stays there because it's been there for months now. So let's go, uh, I got Batman in here. I'm just gonna go ahead. This one get empty right here? I'm just gonna go ahead and put her on top of him. Relax, sir. Chill out. It's all right. It's your girlfriend. Put them in here nice and slowly. I don't want to startle him and make him think that he's getting food or something and have her get fit again. So they're in here nice, nice and happy together. That's Batman rattling, that big ass rattle. So loud. All right, so let's get this poop off my hands and get the poop out that cage. So let's get these rattlesnakes out of the cage. Chandler was nice enough to give me some extra mulch. Got some freshness in there for them. So let's go ahead and see how these guys are. The darker one up top is Batman. Robin is a little bit lighter. Are you sure that's Batman? Yeah, I'm positive. Swear to me! A positive Batman. I know my son when I see him. Look at that guy. Such a handsome snake. So cool. I love these guys. And uh, they're a hybrid. I said morph before. Chandler corrected me. I just wasn't thinking straight. Completely different. They are hybrid rattlesnakes. There is no morph on these guys. I was just talking out my booty hole. 
I'm being stupid. He's got a lot on his mind, people. He's trying to build a snake room. He's there trying to raise go. a child. He's got a lot going on. Got a lot going on. Got a lot going on. Messing my terms up, man. These bugs fail real cool, This one's so beautiful. Yeah, he's got that yellow color. Look at that. That nice yellow on the side. It's almost like, like an okra color. Such a beautiful rattlesnake. Look at that head. Those big, robust cheeks. Those freaking aggressive, aggressive eyebrows. You know, obviously they don't have eyebrows, but they got those scales on the top of their eyes. Which is oh, her, her eyebrows are on fleek. That tough look, dude. It's such a, such a mean looking snake. But she ain't mean at all. These guys are very, very well mannered. Thankful enough that the guy that I got them from Sloan, Sloan. took great care of these guys and treated them with respect. So they treat you with respect. They are not aggressive and they are very cool animals to work with. And it's just such a pleasure having them. I love these guys. So before I finish up this video, before I finish up this video though, I just want to check out Shatid and see how she's doing. Really wait, 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 what? Lock and secure. I'm just gonna take this fucking little right here. Good, that's what I was doing, Chandler. <laughs> silly. I'm on you. Silly, silly. All right, let's get a snake hook for this girl. Because she is, uh, you know, typical female. Always on the aggro side. Mad about something. Woke up on the wrong side of the bed, per usual. Let's see how she's doing. So she ate two decent sized rats last time I was here. So she should hopefully be going and shed soon. She's pretty much on the same. She's on the same shed schedule. Of course, you see that? She comes right up the freaking, she came right up her own body at my hand. A little jerk, I know your tricks. But she's on the same schedule as Rusty. So hopefully, you know, here in the next like week or two, she'll probably go into shed and then have that first shed out of this, uh, this freaking, oh man, she's being a little hard right today. She'll finally have her first shed since her little uh, water bowl incident. You can see how she's just all scarred up on the back, or just all, not scarred, but scabbed up on the back of her hood. She's such a fiery little snake, man. Beautiful girl. Oh, I can't wait to see what she's gonna be like when she's an adult, when she's just seen a size, man. Oh yeah, she'll give you a run for your money. I was just gonna say that. She'll definitely give you a run for her money. She's a smart snake, man. And they're so agile. You saw how easily she just went right up her body at my hand. And if I, if I waited one more second, it would have been bad news for me. So let's go ahead, get this beautiful girl. Look at the size of her. She's growing a lot too, man. Even on a, she's massive! Even on a rat diet, she's still growing decently. Eventually, I would love to get her onto just snakes. But dude, it's hard getting snakes right now. I only have like maybe two or three people that I can possibly get snakes from. And a lot of them are out. So we gotta find some more snake plugs here in South Florida because we're running a little low on sizes that we need. They eat a particular size. And a lot recently, Alex and everybody else, they've only been catching huge Big freaking boys. pythons, like 10 plus footers, which is awesome for them, but it's not so great for us. We need some babies, guys. Can you please send us some baby snakes or some smaller Burmese pythons? Or even if you guys had adult ball pythons at home, you wanna, you wanna send them to us? Already dead, frozen. Food already dead and frozen? Can't live transport. Feel free, hit us up, send me an email if you don't want your snake anymore. We will gladly feed it to one of our guys. <gasps> I know, it's terrible, right? These snakes have to eat. How horrible it is. All right, so that is it, guys. We are finished up over here. I got all the big snakes taken care of. Check here. I'm gonna go help my boy Chandler do whatever he's gotta do since I'm here. I'm gonna clean this up since his snake room is so beautiful and clean. I, just, <coughs> I know I just made a mess. I'm sorry, bro. I'm gonna back in there and sweep it up right now. Stay tuned, guys. Till next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out, guys.